Hey, DIYers! If you've ever stared at a stack of plywood at the hardware store, wondering if you should go with 5 8 inch or 3 quarters inch for your subfloor, you're not alone. I've been there. And trust me, making the right choice can save you a lot of headaches and maybe a few squeaky floors down the line. Let's break it down and figure out which option makes sense for your project and your wallet. Alright, let's talk basics. 5 8 inch plywood is, well, 5 8 of an inch thick, about 16 millimeters if you're into metrics. It's a bit lighter, a bit cheaper, and it's been the go-to for subfloors in a lot of homes, especially older builds. Now, 3 quarters inch plywood steps it up to 19 millimeters. You get more material, more strength, and more resistance to flexing underfoot. But of course, you're also looking at a higher price tag and a bit more weight to haul around. So, what's the real difference where it counts? Well, 5 8 inch plywood will do the job if your floor joists are spaced closely, say, 16 inches on center, and if you're not planning on dragging a piano across the room. But if your joists are farther apart, or you just want that rock-solid feel, 3 quarters inch is the way to go. It's stiffer, gives less under heavy loads, and is less likely to develop those annoying squeaks over time. Now let's talk money. As of this year, 5 8 inch plywood can be about 15 to 25% cheaper per sheet than 3 quarters inch. That adds up quickly if you're doing a whole floor. But if you want your floors to last longer, and you like the idea of fewer repairs down the road, 3 quarters inch could be worth the upfront investment. Plus, it can add resale value if you're thinking big picture. What about the work involved? Thicker plywood is heavier and tougher to cut, so you might spend a little more time and elbow grease installing it. But most folks find that the added stability is worth it, especially in high traffic areas like kitchens and hallways. Let's get practical. For wood framing with joists at 16 inches on center, either option works, but I'd lean toward 3 quarters inch if your budget allows. For wider joist spacing, say 24 inches, absolutely go with 3 quarters. On concrete slabs, thickness isn't as crucial, but 5 eighths can save you a few bucks if you're floating the floor. So here's my take. If you want strong, quiet, long-lasting floors and you can fit it in your budget, 3 quarters inch plywood is hard to beat. If you're looking to save and your structure allows, 5 eighths will do just fine. Think about your needs, your floors, and your future plans for the space. Got questions? Drop them in the comments. And if you've tackled a subfloor project yourself, let me know what worked for you. Until next time, happy renovating!